In order to control the noise problem at work, we need first to be able to measure a wide range of noise levels. To do this, we use sound pressure level meters, commonly known as noise meters, which give readings on a scale where the unit of measurement is the decibel. The decibel scale is not a linear scale like length, where 80 feet is twice 40 feet, which is twice 20 feet, etc. In the decibel scale, a doubling of the sound value is shown as only a 3 decibel increase. Therefore, 80 decibels is twice 77 decibels, which is twice 74 decibels. Here are some typical decibel levels. But in addition to the sound level, we also need to consider the period of exposure, since damage to the ear is caused by a combination of both. This engine, operating at three decibels higher than this pump, will emit the same volume of noise or noise energy in half the time. For example, if the pump operated for eight hours, the engine would emit the equivalent noise energy in four hours. In the same way, six hours at 87 decibels is equivalent to three hours at 90 decibels, or one and a half hours at 93 decibels. The energy emitted is the same in each case. Another important factor is the pitch or frequency of the noise, whether it is low pitched like this vacuum pump or high pitched like this drill. The scale of frequency is known as hertz. Most people can hear sounds from around 20 hertz to something like 18,000 hertz, but the human ear is not equally responsive across the whole range of frequencies. It does not hear too well at the very high or very low end of the scale. So when we attempt to measure sound levels in terms of human values, we use a sound level meter which is designed to react in the same manner as the human ear. This is achieved by incorporating what is called an A weighting filter and the measurements are expressed as dBA very few people are exposed to steady, unchanging noise throughout the work shift. But instruments are available, like this noise dosimeter, which can show an average level.